Dacia Sandero in here, as you can see. And what we need to do is we need to take some of this furniture to the rubbish. So let's have a look. If you open the boot, it's quite spacious. It goes down there. Let's have a look inside. Ah, oh, so while we're here, I'm six foot two. And there's enough space, as you can tell. It's actually quite comfortable in here. Ah, oh, there. Just pull on that. This in here. Just like that. Plenty of space. And then we can put that on in there. Uh, this should do. Perfect, nice and easy. Okay, so now you see what the boot is like. Let's get inside. This is a one liter, one liter engine car. So very small, but it's got a turbo, which makes it a bit more nippy than what you would expect. Okay, found the key. Okay, so hopefully you've got to see what this car is like. So far I've driven it for about a week and I've really really enjoyed it. I mean it's very simple. It's got start stop. <coughs> the phone, you literally plug it in here like this and then put your sat nav or whatever it is you want in there and then it will just stay with uh, like a little display. Oh. Um, the steering wheel is all plastic, so it does feel very cheap and very basic, but the one liter uh, turbo petrol engine Thinking while we're here, should we have a quick look at the under the bonnet? Then let's go. Look. Okay, so nice and simple. With the turbo on first gear, it goes straight up to three, four thousand so quickly. Very nice to drive, very nice.
very comfortable and great for long journeys, short journeys, so would definitely recommend this engine. Um, the mile, uh, miles per gallon you'll probably get about 40. Um, it's a decent car. Now that Dacia is owned by Volkswagen, I think they make good quality. Don't expect any luxuries. You've got your phone in there, which most people use their phone anyway, so I think that's fair enough. You've got the electric um, windows to here, manual mirrors here and there, manual windows at the back, just wind up and down. You have absolutely no distractions there. All the kind of screen and all the distractions and stuff are all on there. So your music, everything is controlled through this little display here. There's not even that much to explain. You've got five, five gear manual gearbox. Um, you've got your aircon, rear window, um, how strong you want the air to blow and the temperature. And that's it, literally in the lock and the hazard lights. So very, very simple, very sort of cheap material and plasticky, but that might be okay. If you just want a car to get you from A to B, quite a good driving experience without any luxuries, maybe this is the one to go for. Brand new, I think they're about um, 14, 15, that sort of price range, thousand. But just wait until they become cheaper. On the used market, you'll probably pick one of those up in a few years for, I don't know, seven, eight thousand. And if you can get it relatively new with low mileage for that sort of price, that might be a good buy. Because it will last you a long time. They're relatively reliable. And yeah, just a good car, car overall. I've driven a Citroen C3 not that long ago, as you can see on the, on the videos. This drives a million times better. It doesn't have some of the fancy elements, the soft steering wheel and stuff, but this is just nicer just much nicer to drive face so, and accelerate okay now we can accelerate 